Four men in the Muslim community were remembered tonight, among them Muhammad Asfal. His brother tells me he is now free of the fear of being the next targeted attack. The Islamic Center of New Mexico is usually full of Muslim men and women. Tonight, rabbis, priests and people from all walks of life came together. I see many friendly and wonderful faces here today. We would like to offer our support and help in any way we can. Friends like you. So thank you so much for your support. Continue to do that because that is what makes us better humans. Just days ago, Imtiaz raised his voice, talking about the fear of becoming the next target. We are living here for the last four or five years. We're living in this neighborhood for nine years. And if this has happened here, so where to go? Where, where are we safe? Raising his voice again, this time in front of his community, his neighbors, and his Albuquerque family. From the last seven days, the kind of sport I have witnessed, it's incredible. I always have faith that this is the Albuquerque we are living. I've been living here for nine years. Now, the feeling is relief. When I heard the news is, uh, is the guy got arrested, my son said, Dad, can I go to the balcony? I said, yes, go out. Open the door. Ending with a prayer, <laughs> Imtia says the support in Albuquerque is unquestionable. Today I'm here to thankful to Albuquerque's state of New Mexico. I receive love, which I feel with hope that I'm more than I'm living in my country, Pakistan. Imtiaz tells me he does not recognize his brother's suspected killer by name, but he is waiting to hear the connection from police. Reporting in Albuquerque, Stephanie Muniz, KOT Action 7 News. And we will continue to update you on this investigation as we learn more. Download our free KOT app for those latest updates or go to KOT.com.